Hey you guys, Mr. Kirby Jr. here. Going to show you another video on emulation, on how to get the PS2 to work on your PC. The files in my links below will give you the PS2 emulator, the PS2 BIOS, and a link to where to download the images of the games you love the most. Once you download those files, open up the PC SX2. The screen prompts you to install, click yes, click next, and you can see in this installer that there's no garbage, malware, spyware, any of that junk is going to try to install on your computer. Not happening. It's going to install DirectX. It might prompt you to install DirectX if you haven't done that before. I've done it before, so the install went pretty successful. You got this PC SX2 shortcut now on your desktop if you click that button. I don't touch anything on this screen. I click next. I'm going to overwrite doo -doo -doo. all of these settings. I, I'm not going to do anything with. It did these by itself. You guys won't have to worry about any of that. Click next. All of these BIOSes I have here exist because I put them here. Let me show you how to put the BIOSes in the correct folder. It, it may be defaulted to your desktop, but in my video, I'm already in the right spot. Sorry about that. So go ahead and open that PS2 BIOS rare file. Grab all the files out of here and paste them into this path. C users, whatever your name is, document slash PSX2 slash BIOS. Because I put them in there, my emulator is going to work. Now I can choose which BIOS I use. I'm probably going to use the latest one. Not because I know what I'm doing, but only because I think I know what I'm doing. Then I'm going to click finish. Okay, I have this screen that says all this stuff in the background about what's my CPU information. Now I'm going to click system and I'm going to look at the menus I have here. Boot CD, boot CD DVD, ISO selector, plug-in, no, di no disk, a bunch of great stuff. ISO selector, browse. I've already downloaded a game for fun to test out for this video. So I'm going to go to downloads, then I'm going to open the folder that I made from my download, Agent Under Fire. I'm gonna click on Agent Under Fire. It's an ISO, I'm gonna click open, and then I'm gonna see what happens. System, boot. All right, Sony Computer Entertainment. That's cool. So I know just from this, it works. And this computer I'm using is not the fastest computer in the world. This is one of the computers that's made in the last few years. And it's a pre-built that I bought at Fry's. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and sit back and relax and watch the intro.